Hey Brian, this is Brian at G-Force. Just in the middle of doing service here. I got your oil changed. Got your rear tire changed. I was uh, in the middle of doing your rear brake pads. Just having a little bit of an issue with your caliper. The pistons aren't wanting to go back in to the caliper so that I can put the new third pads in. We've tried several different things to try and get them to move. And I think it might be an issue uh, with one of the seals internally. I'd like to go ahead and take those pistons out and see if maybe something's twisted. That will call, uh, be a little more time uh, labor. Um, also, looking at your rear brake disc here, you can see this groove has worn in. Uh, the pads have worn down to the brake rotor and have worn into the rotor. The minimum thickness of this rotor should be at four and a half, but as you can see, you're at about three millimeters of thickness, which is about a millimeter and a half past your wear limit. Um, <clears throat> that would be something we'd like to address while we're putting these new brake pads on so that you don't wear uh, abnormal grooves into the new pads and also I wanted to talk to you about your chain it's pretty much worn um, it is a good idea to replace the uh, sprockets and the chain at the same time so you don't have the old sprockets abnormally wear into the new chain and uh, have it wear out prematurely um, they they don't look too bad. It's it's just a good good idea, good practice to uh, replace chain and sprockets at the same time. But you definitely need a chain. Uh, and I did tighten up the clutch lever. It was loose. I haven't had a chance to test ride it yet and see if that takes care of the issue. But after we get the tires and pads addressed, I'll I'll take it out and see if that takes care of it. Uh, give us a call back. Thank you.